Okay, here's a fun project. Who wants to spy a helicopter to see what's going on in their neighborhood? We're going to do this on a shoestring budget without spending over $100. Along the way, we'll learn to mod a very cheap and robust RC helicopter to become a spy in the sky. This is a very simple and fun project to do. Best of all, it will get you outdoors and it'll have you learning some helicopter flight rules and camera craft along the way. Better buckle up, I feel this ride's going to be a rough one. I'm not that good on the controls of these RC helicopters. The aim of this project is to convert a cheap Apache helicopter into a camera carrying spy helicopter. I feel the Apache helicopter is well priced, robust and can be modified easily to carry a camera. Let's look at other helicopters as well, from a tiny $10 plastic Fantastic to a $150 4 channel alloy framed helicopter. The objective here is to lift the weight of the video camera easily into the air and I want to have plenty of power to get out of trouble. The camera I've chosen is a robust and inexpensive action camera. It was under $50 and that included the 2GB memory card and a bundle of extras. I know for a fact this camera is going to get a pounding so I'm steering well clear of anything made of plastic. This camera weighs 40 grams or 1.4 ounces. Even though this seems like a small weight, this will present a big challenge to all three helicopters. Let's test this by using equivalent weight of plasticine added to each helicopter's center of gravity. And now it's time for the weightlifting. First up, the little $10 plastic Fantastic. It doesn't get airborne, but it does scatter around on the tabletop. Next is the under $50 Apache helicopter. I can get a lift off with the 40 grams attached, but it feels heavy and dangerous to fly. And next is the fairly expensive 4 channel alloy framed helicopter. It'll lift it, but it feels heavy and dangerous to fly. And what's interesting, this design has very little leeway to take any weight off the helicopter. Before we enter the chop shop, let's study where the center of gravity is. This is really important to remember. Looking over the Apache helicopter, I can see heaps of extraneous and fairly weighty items. Most of these are dressing and our goal is to remove 40 grams or 1.4 ounces of unnecessary weight. Most items I removed were screwed on. Some I had to cut off with a high speed cut off saw. And you really need eye protection with this sort of cutting. Weighing up the parts I've removed shows me I've reached my goal. Because I removed the outer battery box in a weight reduction campaign, I will use Velcro to keep the battery in position. I'll also bend up a very lightweight and simple spring skid, the same material that I used in my Lego train track. Now for camera positions, and the rule is here we always have to respect the helicopter center of gravity. Some positions created issues. The easiest and most obvious to me at first was to hang the camera from below and have it dangle. Hopefully its own weight will keep a level frame. This is very similar to the concept I used 15 years ago with my home built Steadicam, which used a ball joint as a way of separating movement in a handheld camera move. To execute the underslung camera position, I drilled some holes and I bent up some soft wire to hang the camera. I found out later, this also required a little bit of gaffer tape to reduce excessive camera swing. I like this mounting method as it removes the camera from the vibration of the helicopter in flight. Another camera position I found was just forward of the rotor mast. Camera was mounted using Velcro, which was screwed into the plastic body. A small strip of foam separates the camera from the vibrating helicopter. To keep the center of gravity in this position, the battery is slung on the opposite side and pushed towards the tail. It is also secured with Velcro. Well hey, in three and a half minutes I've explained this simple mod and the job's done. Now it's time for fun. Better read the park rules before I cause some havoc. Well I can't see no RC spy helicopters on that sign. For a week I flew my helicopter, experimenting in camera positions and the flight video can be found via annotation link here. There's also a crash reel, and it can be found via an annotation link here. Sure, this RC helicopter has a new design now. This is my old model, which I found to be extremely robust. The old model can still be purchased for under $50. To make this video I actually purchased a second helicopter. I expected to use it when I crashed my old helicopter. In the end, I never needed to use it. And boy, that old model is looking beat up now. Hoping I've given you some inspiration for some serious fun without spending too much money. As always, thank you very much for watching.